this video, we're learning how to solve percentage problems using the percent proportion. So if you guys haven't already done so, I encourage you to watch our other video that is finding percents of a number using the percentage proportion because that will give you guys a little bit of an overview of these proportions and how to use them. So just a little refresher. So we have these proportions that say is over of equals percent over 100 or part over whole equals percent over 100. And these are basically the same thing. They're just written in different ways. So what you need to remember is that the is is associated with the part and of is associated with the whole. So the right proportion is just to help you guys pull out the different parts of this proportion when we're reading the questions. So let's jump into number one. Number one says 24 is 40% of what number? So we need to look at this problem and pick out all the different parts of our proportion. I'm going to plug them in to our proportion. So 24 is right next to the is. So 24 is our is or our part. So I'm going to write it as part. 40% is obviously our percent. And of what number? So we're trying to solve for what number? And it's next to the of, so that's our whole. So our whole is going to be what we're solving for, and what we're solving for is always our variable. So I'm going to say our whole is x. Now we need to plug these different values into our proportion. So 24 is our part, or our is. So it's going to go on the top left. Our of is what we're solving for, so it's going to be x on the bottom left. Our percent is 40. So we're going to have 40 over 100. And now we just need to solve this for x. So remember to solve proportions, we can use cross multiplication. I like to simplify my fractions if I can first. So I'm going to simplify the right side of my equation. First, I'll cross out both of the zeros, which is just the same as dividing the top and bottom by 10. And now I'm going to divide 4 and 10 by 2. So it becomes 2 fifths on the left. I can't do anything because I have an x, so it's going to stay as 24 over x. And now we're going to solve this proportion. So in the previous video that I was talking about, when we're finding percents of numbers, I showed you guys a shortcut for solving these proportions if you don't want to cross multiply. So I'm going to review that shortcut with you, and then I will also show you how to solve this using cross multiplication. So remember that proportions are just setting two fractions equal. So these two fractions have to be equal or equivalent. And to make equivalent fractions, we multiply or divide the numerator and denominator of our fraction by the same number. So we're going to look at the numerators, and we think, how do we get from 2 to 24? Well, we multiply by 12. So to keep the fractions equivalent, we must have to multiply 5 by 12 to figure out what x is. And 5 times 12 is 60, so we get that x is equal to 60. And now I'll show you guys that we'll get the same answer if we cross-multiply and then we'll mentally check that our answer makes sense. So if we cross multiply, we can multiply the 2 and the x together, so we get 2x, and we can set that equal to 24 times 5, which is going to give us 120. And now we can divide both sides of our equation by 2 to get this x by itself, and 120 divided by 2 is equal to 60. So we get the same thing using either method. And now we just want to mentally check that this makes sense. So our problem says 24 is 40% of what number? We know that 40% is a little bit less than 50%, and 50% is half, right? So 24 is a little bit less than half of some number. So our answer is 60. Half of 60 is 30, and 24 is a little bit less than half of that, so our answer makes sense. Let's take a look at example 2 which says 25 is what percent of 20? So this one's a little bit different. So we got to pick out all of our parts of our proportion. So 25 is next to our is, so that's going to be our part. This time we have what percent. So that is what we're solving for. What percent? So I'm going to put our percent, and that's going to be equal to x. And now of 20 is our whole. So 20 is going to be our whole. And we're going to plug these values into our proportion. So 25 is the is or the part. So it's going to go on the top left. 20 is our whole, so it goes underneath it. And we're going to set this equal to our percent, which again is what we're solving for. So that's going to be our x 
over 100. And now I'm going to simplify the left side of my proportion. So I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So we get 5 fourths is equal to x over 100. And again, I'm going to show you guys using the shortcut, and I will show you using cross multiplication. So to get from 4 to 100, I have to multiply by 25. So to figure out what x is, I have to multiply 5 by 25. And 5 times 25 is going to give us 125. And remember, that's our percent. So I get that our percent is 125%. And now let's just confirm that we get the same thing if we cross multiply. So we're going to do 4 times x, set that equal to 5 times 100, which is 500. Divide both sides of our equation by 4 to get the x by itself. And 500 divided by 4 is 125, so we get 125% either way. And we want to just mentally make sure that our answer makes sense. So our question says 25 is what percent of 20? Well, 25 is greater than 20, right? So it's going to be more than 100%. So we know that our answer is more than 100%, so our answer makes sense. Let's go through a few more examples. So example three says 65 is 130% of what number? So let's go ahead and pick out the different parts of our proportion. So 65 is next to our is, so that is going to be our is or our part. 130% is our percent. Of what number is what we're solving for? So that is going to be our whole, which is going to be our variable of x. Now we'll just start plugging these values into our proportion. So we're going to have 65 over x is equal to 130 over 100. So now I'm going to go ahead and simplify the right side of my proportion by crossing out these zeros or dividing the top and bottom by 10. So now I have 65 over x is equal to 13 over 10. And we can use the shortcut for this problem because 13 does go into 65. So to get from 13 to 65, we have to multiply by 5. So to get from 10 to x, we must have to multiply by 5. So we get that x is equal to 50. And now just to confirm, we will use cross multiplication. So we're going to multiply 13 and x, set it equal to 65 times 10, which is 650. Get the x by itself by dividing both sides of the equation by 13. And 650 divided by 13 is 50. So we get x equals 50 either way we do it. Don't forget to make sure that your answer makes sense. So it says 65 is 130% of what number? So we know that 65 has to be more than 100% of the number. So it has to be bigger than the number. 65 is bigger than our answer of 50. So our answer makes sense. So let's look at example four, which is a little bit different. It says what percent of 70 is 21? So what percent is what we're solving for? So we're solving for the percent. So I'm going to say the percent is equal to x. Of 70 is our of or our whole. And is 21 is our is or our part. So now we're going to plug these values into our proportion and solve. So 21 is our is or our part. 70 is our of or our whole. We are solving for our percent, so that's going to be our x. And this always goes over 100. Let's simplify the left side of our proportion by dividing the top and bottom by 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3. 70 divided by 7 is 10. So I get 3 tenths is equal to x over 100. We could use our shortcut. So to get from 10 to 100, we have to multiply by 10. So to get from 3 to x, we must have to multiply by 10. And 3 times 10 is 30. So we get that x is equal to 30, and we are solving for a percent. So we get 30%. And we will just do it using cross multiplication, for those of you who prefer that. So we can multiply 10 by x. Set it equal to 3 times 100, which is 300. Divide both sides by 10 to get the x by itself. 
and 300 divided by 10 is 30, so we get 30% either way. And we just want to mentally check that this makes sense. So our problem says, what percent of 70 is 21? Well, we know 21 is less than half of 70, because half of 70 is 35. So we know 21 has to be less than 50%. We also know it's greater than 10%, because 10% is just 7. And our answer of 30% is between 10% and 50%, so we know that our answer makes sense. Let's go through two more examples. So for these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can watch me walk through the problems to make sure that you got the answers correct. So number five says 24 is 80% of what number? So our 24 is next to our is, so that's going to be our is or our part. 80% is our percent. And of what number? So of what number is what we're solving for, and that's going to be our whole. So our whole is going to be our variable, which we'll say is x. So now we need to set up our proportion. So we have our part of 24 over our whole of x is equal to our percent of 80 over 100. And now let's simplify the right side of our proportion. We're going to cross out these zeros. And then I'm going to divide the top and bottom by 2. So on the left, I keep my 24 over x. On the right, 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I have 24 over x is equal to 4 over 5. I'll show you guys how to do this using the shortcut first. So to get from 4 to 24, we multiply by 6. So to find x, we must have to multiply 5 by 6. 5 times 6 is 30, so we get 30. And now I will confirm using cross multiplication. So we're going to multiply 4 times x. We're going to multiply 5 times 24, which is going to give us 120. And now to get the x by itself, we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 4. 120 divided by 4 is 30. So I get that x is equal to 30 either way. And now we want to mentally check that our answer makes sense. So our problem says 24 is 80% of some number. So 80% is more than 50%. It's less than 100%, but it's closer to 100%. So if we look at our number of 30, 50% of 30 is 15. 100% of 30 is 30. 24 is in the middle of those. It is closer to 100%, right? It's closer to 30. So our answer makes sense. So now let's go over our last problem, which says 63 is what percent of 105? So again, let's figure out all the different parts of our proportion. So 63 is, so it's next to our is, so this is our part. What percent is what we're solving for? So we're solving for our percent. So we'll say our percent is our variable of x of 105. So this is going to be our whole. And now we're just going to set up our proportion. So we're going to have 63 over our whole of 105 is equal to, we're solving for the percent, so x over 100. And now we're going to simplify the left side of this proportion. So 63 and 100 are both divisible by 7. So 63 divided by 7 is 9, and 105 divided by 7 is 15. And now I can actually simplify this even more by dividing the top and bottom by 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And we can use our shortcut. So to get from 5 to 100, we have to multiply by 20. So to find x, we're going to multiply 3 by 20. Whoops, not 30. We're going to multiply by 20. And I'll do it over here. 3 times 20 is 60, so we get 60% as our answer. And finally, we'll just do it using cross multiplication. So we can multiply the 5 and the x. Set that equal to 3 times 100, which is 300. Get the x by itself by dividing both sides of our equation by 5. And 300 divided by 5 is 60, so we get 60% either way. 
And finally, we're just gonna mentally check that our answer makes sense. So 63 is what percent of 105? So 105 is close to 100, and 50% of 100 is 50. So 63 is going to be more than 50% of 105, but it's pretty close because it's more than half, right? So 63 is more than half of 105, so it's more than 50%, and we got 60% as our answer, so our answer makes sense. So I hope this video helped you guys understand how to solve percentage problems. We also have a video solving these types of problems using an equation. So if you guys want to learn another method to use when solving these problems, you should check it out.